Hey, what's going on? My name is Tyler Austin. I'm a founder of REI SIF, and today I'm going to show you how to build a cold calling campaign in less than five minutes. Uh, today we're going to be using Smart Dialer to build this campaign, so you do require having smartphone to do that. Um, we're not going to cover too much about smartphone itself today, but specifically if you already have smartphone and you're looking to start cold calling on Smart Dialer with their add-on, I'm going to show you how to do it very quick, very effectively and basically build the most profitable cold calling campaigns that exist. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop over into REI SIP, but before we do, actually I'm going to show you exactly um, where to find a smartphone and all that good stuff. So let's hop over here. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna go to smartphone.io and you're gonna click on try for free. And when you do that, you're gonna click the drop down for your CRM, make sure you choose REI SIFT as your CRM, um, and then continue to fill out the rest of the information. When you do this, you're going to want to make sure um, that you use the coupon code REI SIFT30, which is gonna give you 30% off for three months of smartphone, okay? If we look at their pricing very fast, I want you guys to just notice that um, their uh, monthly pricing, I, I just recommend their pro plan, it's really great. Uh, we're gonna cut, we'll cover this more um, in another video basically on how to uh, do the best click to call marketing as well as how to use click to call for lead management and acquisitions. So definitely uh, check that out. Um, but I recommend the $100 one. If you're really on a tight budget, $50 a month is totally fine. But at $100 a month and at using REI SIF, you know, for less than 500 bucks a month, basically, you can have your core tech stack that you need. I think that that's amazing. Okay, so anyway, 100 bucks, um, and you're gonna click start free trial from there as well. You can do that. Um, it, it basically doesn't include Smart Dialer. Um, Smart Dialer is an add-on, which is basically, uh, uh, so for a single line, it's only $42 a month, and then for a multi-line, it's 75, or I guess it's 50 and 90 if you're monthly. Um, and basically this means that you get an, a seat, right? And it's up to four numbers on the smart, on the smart dialer, um, which is, which is totally plenty. Please do not even go under, go, do not go above four dials uh, at a time on any dialer uh, that you're using. Uh, you can kind of view the rest of the features and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not going to really cover that in this video. Um, honestly, to, to be quite frank with y'all, it doesn't matter because you're going to get results. If you don't think that you're going to get results, um, then, uh, I just recommend you just go to over to reisif.io, go to our website, and then click on case studies and just literally view other people's results and just look. Their blueprints are all right there. You can go through and you can listen and, and literally they see their story and we they share their reisif account and they show what they're doing um, and, and that's that, okay? I'm not going to uh, pretend like... Uh, you guys are children. I know that you you know that um, uh, there's a right way to do things. There's a wrong way, and I'm going to teach you the right way, the easy way, the efficient way. Okay. So what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to go to my dashboard really fast, and, and I just want to show you uh, where you find the help center on how to integrate REI SIF and smartphone together. I'm going to click the drop down on the top right corner here and click on help center, or down here on the right corner you can just click help center. Um, and once you do that, you can just scroll down and click on integrations. And then once you click on integrations, you can just scroll down to where it says smartphone and you can set up smartphone, uh, there, and then you can set up the smart dialer integration there. I definitely recommend you check out both of these articles. They're absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can watch the video that Kylie did, does here and how to set up the actual smartphone integration, map the API keys and all that other stuff that comes with you know, integrating, um, really, really great article. She has some supporting um, articles in there as well. Um, so definitely go through, read this, watch the video, um, all that good stuff. We also have our help center translated into Tagala and um, also Spanish. Um, so from there you click on all collections and then if you um, uh, scroll down, I'm not quite sure. Here you go, uh, Tagalog Health Center. You can click in there. You can see here's all the translated articles. Um, and then on the top right corner for Spanish, you can just click uh, Espanol at the top there, um, and it will uh, be in Spanish, okay? Um, so you switch that from right here, okay? And there's all the Spanish uh, articles as well, okay? So really efficient, um, and uh, hopefully that helps you out. Okay. So uh, definitely check through the uh, smart dialer and the smartphone uh, integration uh, helps in our articles. Really, really amazing. But I am already 
um, almost five minutes in and we haven't even got to the video. So now let's actually get to the video on how to uh, create this. It's actually going to be way faster. So all I'm going to do is I've already uploaded records into my REI SIFT account. To do that, uh, you can click upload file, add data, go ahead and upload a list. I've already done that and I already have records that are ready to upload um, So what or send to Smart Dialer. So all I'm going to do is click on my records page. I'm going to click on my filters and I'm going to click load. I'm going to click on one of my filters or folders here that I have set up with basically a marketing process. This is actually part of our first to market challenge, uh, this specific uh, marketing flow here. I could also just click on my bulk flow and, 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 and go into there and send some records, but I actually need to send um, some records right now for my company. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on my ready to call filter, which is basically looking for all of the records that are on these lists. Um, do not contain any property status. Um, and have no call attempts on it and then contain phone number. So I'm gonna click apply and I'm gonna select these 90 properties that are here right now. I'm gonna send these to an integration. I'm going to choose smart dialer. I'm going to choose no status. And in this case, I'm also gonna choose no answer. Um, don't worry too much about that. That's just a kind of a me specific thing uh, on this campaign. Uh, and I'm gonna go to the campaign name and I'm gonna call it first to market uh, pool. And I just wanna look to see what week of the year is it this is how i build my campaigns uh it is week 17 so i'm going to say week 17 2024 and then i'm going to just select a random phone number here um i'll show you what we're going to do in a minute there uh, my voicemail drop i'm going to choose uh tyler's voicemail drop and then for my callback message i'm going to choose a bad callback message basically a voicemail drop is while you're dialing on smart dialer you can um Anytime you get a voicemail, you just click a button and it'll drop that voicemail into their conversation, into their uh, voicemail. Um, and then callback message, if two people pick up at the same time, um, one person's gonna get the callback message and you're gonna get connected with the other. That's basically all that means, okay? So I'm gonna click next. And I'm going to see that I have some auto tags that are added to my records here. Click review, send contacts. Um, and then that's that. And then I'm going to do manage. I'm going to update my call attempts and I'm going to increment them by one because I'm sending them over to the dialer and I'm going to call through that whole list or rather my team is. And, um, and so I know that this attempt is going to happen. Um, and so I'm going to un increment my call attempts, click apply there. And what's going to happen is, is those are going to slowly just disappear. So now they're gone. So now they no longer meet that filter criteria because they have a call attempt on it. And remember, our filter was looking for no call attempts. So all of those records now are basically ending up in my call attempt equals one. And if I click apply, as of right now, now there's 287 records where once I send back this campaign again, I'm just gonna filter by this and I'm gonna send all 287 of these back, okay? Um, so there were some records that already had one attempt on them that need their second attempt. And so all of these are going to get sent at the same time. Meanwhile, what just happened is over in smartphone, if I click on my smart dialer add on, it's going to open up smart dialer. And in here now is my first to market pool week seven. And if I click into that campaign, you'll see it already has the 559 records ready to call. So I can literally now click new call session and start dialing right now. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and edit the settings here. And I just want to make sure that my numbers are the right phone caller IDs because I don't have them memorized. That's why I just chose a random one. So I'm going to choose the ones that I have named bulk here. Um, so I can uh, call through using those phone numbers. And then I'm going to switch the number of dials to just a two line dialer because this is not very many records. I don't want to use more than like two lines if it's less than a thousand phone numbers. And then I'm going to toggle these here. You don't really have to worry about this too much. Um, but basically all this means is that if I end up calling something and I disposition it as wrong number, if that same phone number exists somewhere inside this campaign, it's not going to call that wrong number again, no matter who it's for. Same thing. If I disposition something as new lead, I don't want to recall that correct number again in the same campaign. And so I just, I just say wrong number. When I rehash my campaigns, when I reschedule at the end of the month and I redo my cold calling campaigns with all the people I haven't reached yet, basically, if um, any phone numbers that I haven't reached, they're going to get sent back again anyway, okay? And so basically, I do it like that and I click save. And so now this campaign is ready to call. And so all we're going to do is click new call session and I can literally just start calling now.
and boom, there we go. So now it's going to start dialing. It's going to dial one record out of two records at a time here until we get connected. And the really cool thing is, is if I end up getting a wrong number, okay, like it's going to give it, I think, 15 seconds or something like that. It'll dial until it switches to another one, something like that. So there it goes. It switched. That was no answer. If I end up getting a bad number, I want you to look at this calling, calling. So it's ringing these numbers right now. If I end up getting a bad number, what ends up happening is it will say failed. If I connect to somebody, it's going to pop up really quick on my screen right now. Um, and But if I get a bad number, it's going to say failed. And if I get a wrong number, I'm going to disposition that as the wrong number. And it's going to send that wrong number back to REI SIF. If I get somebody who's not interested, it's going to send that phone number and that property disposition as not interested. And every quarter then, we're going to, we're going to recall through. We're going to send only... Five, zero. Nine, seven is not available. So I got the voicemail, it beeped. I just dropped the voicemail. I click finalize. And in this case, I'm going to say follow up later because I didn't have any disposition to do, right? So I'm just going to start calling again. Okay. And it's going to start calling everything else. Okay. And I just would, ho I'm hoping I find like a failed number or we get a wrong number here. Been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Eight. Five zero five nine eight three four two four is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. To leave a callback number, press five. Okay, that one was failed right there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy this number. And I just want to show you this phone number failed. And so if I go back to REISIF now and search that phone number, it's going to find that record. If I open it up, okay, that phone number ended in 8894. There it is right there. And we automatically tagged that phone number as a dead number. If I click on my activity log now, you can see when the dials happen and that it got updated from a smart dialer as a dead number. If I get a wrong number, it's going to update as wrong number. And so we're updating every disposition, including our phone numbers, which is so, so powerful in the core data set that we have. And so that's why um, we're able to do what we do at REI. So it's why I can create a uh, campaign um, in less than five minutes um, outside of me explaining things and, and actually cold calling for y'all is because of how efficient it is and how, how much information we have. If I want to resend this record back to Smart Dialer, when I do that, if I select this record and say, hey, I want to send this back to Smart Dialer, I choose Integration Smart Dialer, you know, I'm going to choose No Status. And that means it's only going to send the phone numbers that do not have a phone status, which is absolutely fantastic. Right? It's, only going to, it's not going to send this one. It's going to send all the others, but not that one because we already know it's dead. One of the best ways for you to make sure that you stay compliant is not door knocking aggressively on something that is already known to be the wrong homeowner, right? Um, it looks suspicious, right? So anyway, that's literally me creating a campaign, changing the settings, um, showing you how to set it up, um, how to get smartphone, where the help center articles are, and a little bit about REI SIF um, very briefly. Uh, there's a lot of that you can do. Um, if one of these became a new lead, just as a kind of a, a, a side note here, if something did become a new lead, what would end up happening is that I have a sequence in REI SIF that says it's a lead management sequence where if something does change to new lead, it automatically adds a task to call new lead and it adds it to my SIF line board for new leads and I would have a task created uh, to call them and then I would follow up with them here right inside of REI SIF. And so what's super amazing is what's happening is, is I just sent a cold calling campaign. I was able to start dialing immediately because the data was already in my system. I already had phone numbers, which uh, by the way, I you know was able to just to select the records right in SIFT, send to skip trace and skip trace right in REI SIF. Um, and already have those phone numbers, or if I already have a skip trace provider that I am using, I can just upload those phone numbers right inside of REI SIF. And when I do tag those phone numbers as that skip trace provider, so that I know that, um, I got those phone numbers from that provider. So if I do also skip trace in REI SIF, um, if I don't have a tag on it with that provider name, I know those were SIF phone numbers and I know the other ones were not right. 
Um, and so there's just a ton that you can do to become better at marketing, to really refine your process. And oh, by the way, for the stuff that you don't get phone numbers back for, I can just very quickly send a direct mail campaign right inside of REISIF so that I'm still touching those sellers in another marketing channel, but I'm doing it even cheaper because I don't have to mail everybody. I can just mail the people that I didn't get phone numbers back for. And there's so, so, so much more. So if you wanna learn how to do marketing better, if you wanna learn how to build more efficient, faster cold calling campaigns, uh, SMS campaigns, direct mail campaigns, uh, how to import and bring in PPL leads and, and have a process where everything feeds each other, definitely check out REI SIF. You can use the links in the description below. And you can also, if I'm not mistaken, use a coupon code called SIFTube in order to get a nice little bit of credits added into your account for some skip tracing and some direct mail. Um, and outside of that, if you have any questions, you can join our REI SIF Mastermind community on Facebook or reach out to my support team by just going to reisif.io and clicking on that support button at the top, ask some questions. And lastly, lastly, I highly recommend that you head over to reisif.io and click on the webinar button and watch this Clarity and Chaos webinar. It is super, super powerful. The links are in the description below if you'd like to just click on a quick link. Um, but we have given uh, so much value here in this webinar and I feel like it would be super, super beneficial to you if you wanna gain more clarity on what I'm talking about here. If you're like, wow, that was really cool, then check out that webinar and I promise you it will, it will change the di uh, direction that your business goes literally in the course of the two hours that webinar runs. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. No, it's not a five minute video, um, but I did send a campaign and cold call all within uh, five minutes. You have a wonderful rest of your day, your week, your month, your year, and uh, stay, uh, stay focused, stay consistent. And thank you so much for tuning in. See ya.